All right, what up guys? This is my second video today. So if you watched the first one, you know, I just talked about the Morimoto headlights that I put on. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna talk about the grill. So this is the Red Rocks Baja. Um, there's a few different options. I basically got the most plain one. It doesn't have any barring up the front, doesn't have the Ford logo. You can get that. Uh, the reason I got this, I wasn't even planning on getting a grill, but it was like stupid cheap on American trucks. It was like 65% off, something like that. It's probably on clearance, that's probably why. So I went ahead and got it and decided to go ahead and install it just while I was doing the lights. Did I need it? No, this is kind of a little bit of a splurge. I think it looks cooler, a little more aggressive look. I like the honeycomb a little bit more than the original, like what came on the Ford truck. So this was really easy and then it was really, really hard. So installing the grill itself, you know, you gotta take it all off. It's got the shutters on the back. Taking the old grill off, the shutters and putting the shutters on this grill, that part was easy, no issue whatsoever. The problem was these lights. So there's a harness. I've got it all zip tied up so you can't see, but there's a harness that runs along the top here and it runs through. Uh, there's a little part of it right there, if you can see. And it actually has to tap into the running lights for the headlights, uh, the, the daytime running lights. So the issue was, well, A, they didn't provide all the hardware. A couple pieces, even on the, like the um, tutorial videos were missing, so I had to run the hardware store for that. It was like the uh, the spade, uh, uh, spade uh, I'm, I'm spacing on the word right now, the connector. But the bigger issue was they provide these T-taps to actually um, splice into those wires. And those T-taps are just junk. They're terrible. I don't know if I did something wrong or they just weren't worth it, but I could not get these lights to light up to save my life. I ended up just buying some different T-taps off of Amazon. Um, and I'll put a link in the description. I've got some extras, but I already put them away. So I'll put a link in the description of what I use. But I found a video on YouTube, a guy who talked about tapping in, and the wires were fine. I just needed some better T-taps. So um, they are connected in on the driver's side, and they're lighting up. So now it looks really cool. So kind of a lot of headache for something that should have been really, really simple. Uh, disappointed about that, but that's what these are. They're going to be on any time the daytime running lights are. So even if I uh, if I kill the truck. And we'll let the lights go out. Well, that's not gonna work. You know, I just realized I left my key in the truck, so I'm not gonna bother with that right now. But that's what this grill is, the Red Rocks Baja grill. Really psyched about it. I like the look. I've been driving around with it for a couple days, just with the lights not working. Um, so it's a good look. And there, the lights kicked off. So um, they'll just kick on anytime the running lights come on. But let me shut the trunk so you can see. But that's the look. And I think that's a really, really cool look. Really excited about that. Doesn't necessarily go with the chrome. Um, I don't really care. I mean, at some point I might change out, you know, the bumper and get rid of the chrome. But for right now, it's totally fine. I think it works. I think it looks good. It looks great with those Morimoto's, which of course look great with the tail lights. So it's all coming together. Really excited. And that's it for this one. Thanks guys.